Hello and welcome to some Arca at Lime Rock Park. This was a nice surprise to see on the schedule here on this Monday evening. Or, uh, I guess it's very early Tuesday. <laughs> it's just past midnight. Uh, I love whenever Arca visits road courses. So much fun. So I'm very excited to get this one started. I've got uh, a decent amount of experience here at Lime Rock 2 in Mazdas and uh, Formula V and a little bit of like the USF 2000. So um, I do know this course pretty well by now, I'd like to say. Just uh, not so much in a stock car. And of course, that's going to be a very different experience. But uh, I've been doing some practice and feeling pretty good. Always a good bit of fun. Driving the Arca car around a road course. And uh, hopefully we'll have ourselves a good race here. Green flag, green flag. Nice friend of the line. Okay, here comes your first time black. And here we go. I'm gonna do first gear and turn one just for qualifying. Though I, uh, that was not very smooth there. I want to be a little smoother than that, so maybe that wasn't a good idea. Um, I've been doing second gear and not going below second gear during my practice, so that was kind of a last minute decision there and probably not the best one. Because that didn't work out too well, but Not too bad, about three tenths off my best, so could be better, but let's uh, not do anything weird this lap and just try to have a good, a good one. Not switch to first gear and surprise myself with a weird decision. Gotta really get off the gas at the top of that hill because it gets light. The car will spin out on you. Ooh, I slid through that corner. Alright, that's a better lap. Where does that bring us? That'll bring us a 53 4. Not the best. We got 53 0 in here. So I gotta do better, it would appear. But that's alright. Not really sure what to expect. Um, still want to get some more practice in. Since this is something brand new to me, obviously. Never done Arca at Lime Rock, so. Ooh, yeah, don't get on the gas too hard there. Like I was saying, you will spin out. Um, I've, I'm doing a 8 to 1, just for maximum steering, <laughs> and uh, I got the brake bias at default for now. With a little more practice, maybe I would have decided to lower it a little bit, maybe, or something, but it seems okay for now. Well, heck, I wish this was my Q lap that I'm doing right now. This is much better already. Almost falling off course right there. Just getting a little bit more practice in. I wish this was my qualifying lap. That was a good one. <laughs> that was almost three tenths better than my all-time best. Oh god, I forgot. To <laughs> I forgot to hit the brakes. Let's see, that last one was a 53-1. 
and I just want to gain this one spot. So the uh, leader here is in f the pole sitter so far is in the 52s. So I got some work to do, I think. That's all right. Unfortunately, I am the number one. My uh, road eye rating's at like 3,300, something like that. So I don't think I'm going to win it by any shot. So <laughs> probably not going to hit that mark, but you know, I'll give it my best. Right now we are in fourth. And uh, times aren't too spread out. Um, I thought we'd have a lot of a lot of difference in times because I believe this is single split. Perhaps there weren't too many people signed up. Maybe it split once, so, but not too many people. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to wait the rest of the time. I think because the thirteen's not here. They uh, lost connection. So. We'll just have to wait it out. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna be easier on the tires during my uh, during the actual race, so that way the rear tires aren't crazy hot or anything. I'm just gonna try to be smooth. Uh, like I said, I got eight to one, and then defaults for the front brake bias. And then uh, normally you'll see me put this all the way to negative fifteen on ovals because it has the natural pull to the left, but it doesn't do that on road courses, so there's no need. Don't feel the need to do that. So this guy lost connection too. Number eight. Interesting. I wonder if these guys are gonna be able to get back in. I guess I should be thinking about losing connection too. I gotta be careful because there's like a thunderstorm going on outside. It seems like it was a real quick one. Like it might already be over, but um hopefully don't have any electricity problems or anything. Yeah, some guys struggling already. Eight incidents before we even get started with the race. That's no good. I mean, that's only the equivalent of, what, like a 4X? Because you get half during qualifying, I think. I think it's half qualifying, and then during, um, during the warm-up practice in a race session, it's like one-fourth. So, they do count, in case you didn't know. So we've been bumped down to fifth, okay. I think this is the new guy that found his way in there. Uh, I just ran my best ever <laughs> after qualifying when I was running around the 53-1. So I don't think I'm going to hit that with any consistency, but uh, I know there's a lot of room for me to improve. That's the end of the so that's good, but I'm not going to be doing anything too crazy during the race because staying on track is going to be important, so... Hopefully we don't get murdered, <laughs> and uh, hopefully have ourselves a fun, clean race. Very excited. But just in case we do get murdered, we'll get the fast repair ready. So some fast times, but we're not crazy far off, especially if I were able to hit my best lap. Um, just a couple tenths off of my best, and then uh, my qualifying lap's about half a second off. But uh, it doesn't matter how fast you are if you end up in the salad <laughs> on the side of the road. So I have to make sure I keep it between the lines and uh, get some good enough laps in the meantime. Maybe I'll do multiple of these this week if, uh, if I get the opportunity. I sure would like to. It's just... Uh, Work's keeping me busy. But we are officially starting fifth. And there will be a pace lap, of course. Hopefully nothing too crazy. Usually in the road series, whenever you have to do a uh, rolling start, it gets kind of scary. But ARCA drivers should know how to pace by now, <laughs> you would hope. So that's a regular thing in the series. I think it's whenever you get some of the road drivers that don't always do rolling starts, some weird things start happening. <laughs> so. Hopefully everyone will ready up here before too long, but 
Just uh, 10 seconds anyway. Hey, we're ready to go. All right. Got an interesting brawny car. The number five up there. Is that the bull sitter? No, that's the second. Let's run her up. Of course, because he would be on the on the left lane. Follow car number zero two. <laughs> As the uh, number two, so. It's like a first gear start, actually. Which is interesting. Got plenty of room to rev it up from first gear. We'll be ready to do that. And uh, we'll check here once we have a little bit of room for tire spin, but it didn't seem like I was feeling anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm feeling any tire spin, so we should be okay to get a decent launch. We'll get our tour of the track if you have not seen it before. Though uh, Lime Rock is one of the free tracks, so uh, unless you never do any road racing, you've probably seen it before. Got a bunch of different classes ahead of us. We got a B class up front, and then I think yellow, that's C class, isn't it? Yes. And then an A class, <laughs> number two in front of us. We're A class. A couple different classes. What's the pace car? What's that red line on the pace car? What class are they? <laughs> like something scary. F class. If they get a red band. <laughs> All right. Enough uh, bringable in about nonsense. We're about ready to get going here. Okay. Got myself a good view of the leader. I gotta remember just to hold it together. Yeah. Don't spin it at the top of the hill. Very easy to do. Far so good. A little wide feeling there, but got it back. All right, so clean first lap. That's good. And uh, we gained a spot, I guess, because someone had a You're in rough start, position. maybe. Had a good turn. Uh, turn one there. Not too hard. He was a bit wiggly in front of us. To watch out. A bit shallow there, but we're fine. Alright, point six behind us, so we got a little bit of room. Not much. Remember, it's all about uh, being smooth. AKA not doing what two of the four people in front, or three people in front of us just did. All right, thank you. Happy birthday, me. And hello, other A-class driver. Maybe it's a class thing, I don't know. Ooh. Sorry, I don't mean to be classist. <laughs> Licensed classist. Talk about what I'm viewing here, but we suddenly find ourselves in second. B2. Curious. All right, here we go. Full laps in the books. The next car's the leader. Nice and smooth, you're running the 
Sky behind has just done a 53.6. I don't know if they, uh, those guys are completely gone, though, because they didn't, like, hit anything. Ooh, we're too a little bit wide there. Right up the two. <laughs> Move easy. But it's gonna be tough to pass, that's for sure. Cause fighting the track most of the time already. Hard to think about things like passing. And it real shallow right there. So it goes pretty wide around that corner. Feeling light. Careful. You really almost have to get completely off the gas pedal. Uh oh, what well, we got stopped on the right up here. That's not what I like to see. <laughs> not gonna try anything way too aggressive there and crash both of us. Even though we had to check up a little bit. Great job, getting to go. Putting the pressure on. Awesome mistake. That was a 54.1. Sectors 2 and 3 are 0.2 off the face. Must let the door open. Good. Oof. <laughs> I missed the apex and cut it a little bit too much because I uh, couldn't see it because of the guy in front of me. Car looks weird when it's going over the hill. <laughs> it's like pointing towards the sky. Kind of funny looking. Still 0.7 behind, so they're keeping up with us for sure. I might have to keep them in mind back there, if we, especially if we start having to battle for position or anything. A little bit of grass there, that's not what I want. Kind of getting held up a little bit. Not that this guy's slow, it's just... More faster in certain spots. Like he's a little bit better in certain spots, I'm a little bit better in other spots. Don't wait too long, find that gap. I think the way to pass would probably to get a big get a run off that final corner there. Oh, he's going real slow. Maybe I'm going too fast, I don't know. Left side. Clear on the left. He is like all over the track in some of these spots. Takes this a little bit soft for my liking. I just don't know how I'm gonna get past done. He pushed hard through the final corner there. So I'm get sideways a little bit. Okay, Colton, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel.
man, I'm just trying to plan, think of how I'm going to get by him, but I just, I'm not sure if I have a way. And he's always de defending a little bit here. Maybe I can make him make a mistake. You've just done a 53.9. Don't push it too hard through the middle of the corner. Get sideways. Stay close. <laughs> I just, I'm all over him, and I just, I don't, there's no way around him. I can see. Ooh. Take. Yes. All right. He just had a bit of a bobble there, and it was enough for me to make the pass. All right. Now what can we do with it? Five laps to go. You're in okay, you are the leader. We can overdrive a little bit and turn one. That's not what I wanted to do. And we got lap traffic, which is extra fun. Oh, they're going off too, right in front of us. Go left. Dude! What a bear, man. Why would you slam on your brakes right in front of everyone? Stay between the lines, please, Colter. Jesus Christ. So I work all race to get past that guy, and then... He would have been fine if he just okay. rolled. Okay. Oh, that's frustrating. Before. Well, there goes that potential win. I worked the whole race. To get by the guy in the fir in the first lap that I'm by him, we get Chicken Streaker Deluxe parking it in front of us. Like, really? Even if you're gonna mess up the corner, <laughs> why would you slam on your brakes in front of everyone like that? Just roll through, go off the course, get out of the way at least. Like Jesus. Oh. It's an honest mistake, but that's pretty frustrating. No apology either, so that's really cool. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two is not point three off the pace. You're a tenth <sighs> three. All we can do now is try to salvage. At least we're still in fourth. We got it going again. Afterward, thankfully, it doesn't seem like we have any damage that I can tell. I'm sure, we got damage on the back, but I don't think anything. I'm not like feeling anything that might be affecting us. So that's good. Two more. Let's go. If we just had a couple more laps and we would have had it, maybe, if I didn't make a mistake myself. I guess that's something that's always going to be a possibility, though, if you've got these single split races. You can see the tire tracks in the grass too. Tells a story. At least it's fun. Fun to drive, even if you're driving alone. It's fun to be had. But that is frustrating, for sure. The 
next car is. I just love that it happened right after I finally got that pass done. And I happen to be the first one to be to meet the lovely lap car. Like it couldn't have been a lap before, like have the other guy get taken out by a lap car. Nah, it's as soon as I get the lead. <laughs> it's whatever. What what are you gonna do? Could have been worse. Finish it up. Fourth place. You got a car on the left. Four way from that guy with terrible. P4. Okay, that's the end. Good finish. Chicken flag. Chicken flag. Good job. Very good. I assume job. it was an honest mistake, but I just hope he learns from it. Good win. Good race. Still, uh, still not so bad. Let's see. Well, let's see the tires. Nice, seven, ninety-five. Okay, that was fine. The car felt fine. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, see the incidents. See what else happened out here, and be able to get a bird's eye view of <laughs> our little incident. Oh my God, a seven, way overdrove it. Oh, that's a dive bomb and a half. I think that's probably just going in way too hard. That's funny. It's like the butterfly effect. That's the 11 car that gets us later, too. Like, if the 7 doesn't do that to the 11, maybe he's not even a lap car later. It's like, you never know. You can, you can make all kinds of... Oh, if this happened, then this would, wouldn't have happened. You can, you can always do that. No reason to get... Trapped in your own head about it. Seven <laughs> driving around, driving around with a snaggletooth tire. <laughs> it's funny. Making it around to get that. Uh... Oof! I was gonna say fast repair. I'm not sure if that's a penalty though. Maybe not. Ooh, five losing it. What's that brownie car? Just gets too much of the uh, curb there, it looks like. More issues for the seven? Yeah, looks like it gets turned around. Oof, seven gets loose off the top of that hill and unfortunately right uh, into the path of the other guy. For really, you have to like be, almost be completely off the throttle when you reach the top of that hill. Or else it'll happen to you. I bet we're going to see a lot of it during the race here. I mean, we already saw it a couple times and I don't know, maybe it's not long enough of a race to see more of it, but... Ah. Oh. Man. Like, look, if he just rolls it, then we're fine. But he just, he stops in the middle of the track. He would have been, it would have been fine if he just kept rolling and go across and gets out of the way. It's just, you have to have situation awareness, man. Like, at this point, you got to think, like, all right, I'm not going to be able to stop on the grass. It's going to slide. So you just got to get off the other side of the track. But he just does the worst possible thing and stops right in the middle. <sighs> Frustrating, man. <laughs> that kills me. That kills me. This kills the crab. Alright. And then everyone else keeps it straight. Except for me. I just, I don't know what I can do at that point, you know? I mean, I see him in the grass. And my only hope is, like, 
I see him over there and I'm like, okay, well, he's going to end up across the track, so I can't be over here. Like, there's no winning there. Like, I'm already on the brakes. I'm already hard on the brakes trying to let him pass. And he would have been passed, but he slams on his brakes so he can be right in the way. I don't know. And uh, we just get plowed from behind. It wouldn't even have been so bad if the two hit the brakes as well, but he's not expecting the guy to slam on his brakes in front of everybody. So I get killed. Well, let's look at a brighter moment. Let's see when I finally made the pass. <laughs> it was right after I made the pass, too. That kills me, man. I worked so I worked for 10 laps. Well, not 10 laps, but you know, majority of the race there. To get by him. I think two wanted to do the crossover, but like I held my line because I figured maybe he might fight on the outside. So I kind of just <laughs> end up parking it on the inside, but that's all I needed to do to get by him. And just immediately after I finally get the pass done, <laughs> not even a quarter of a lap later. Uh, oh well, it was still a fun race. Anyway. I try not to be too mean, like, I kind of feel bad for being like, oh, why would you do that? Because it is an honest mistake, I'm sure, but... Hmm. Could have said sorry, too. Just saying. Four, ooh, misses it bad. Going on an, <laughs> going on an adventure. And, uh, well, hey, that's the end of the race, so I guess it could have been worse. It could have been much worse. Um, so I end up with a 5X. That stinks. Been trying to get my uh, road safety rating up just because, uh, I don't know, looks nice having a road or any safety rating in the fours and stuff. So that's going to be hit to that. And I'm um, probably, depending on the strength of the field, you might lose some I rating, but... Who cares about all that? Still fun to drive. I'll uh, probably give this another go. Probably sooner rather than later. So I'd like to make a, a clean finish at least. But uh, we got lap card. We got chicken streakered, <laughs> as Nick would say. But uh, oh well. It is what it is. Still fun. Still got a decent finish. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. And I hope to see you again soon. See ya.